Hello everyone, I'm in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul and more mods than you should probably ever attempt to install to try out the Kerbal Colony mod finally. So I'm adding another one in and well, it's uh, it's pretty lightweight as far as its impact on loading is concerned. It's a small mod, it's basically a plug-in and no parts. Parts are the ones that take up a lot of RAM room and we're here on the moon on the real solar system moon with a little probe that had landed here a while ago and I'm using this to build the colony with Kerbal Colonies. So there's this button here, Kerbal Colonies, and I'm gonna see whether it works. It requires Kerbal Constructs and it's supposed to provide similar capabilities as extraplanetary launch pads. Uh, we have build colony as an option on this early controllable core. Not enough rocket parts. Well, gosh darn it. <laughs> so that's the first thing we need. We need to send 10,000 rocket parts over here in order to make this work out. Well, I'm going to cheat that over here quickly. Uh, so, And the reason we're uh, going to cheat that over here is because I've already got stuff over here. These are just Kerbal Constructs things that I placed. So there's sort of a facility going on here, and these are just Kerbal Constructs placements, but they don't do anything. And the point of Kerbal Colonies, link in the video description, is to have the Kerbal Constructs objects actually do stuff. And in particular to be able to build rockets with them. And so we've got these fancy things and it would be nice for them to do things. But right now they do not because those are not under the control of Kerbal Colonies. However, uh, those same parts because they're from pair terraforming and stuff like that. Uh, I think there's uh, OSSNTR is another mod that uh, Kerbal Colonies works with. Uh, those could have functionality, the same model could, be, could have functionality just as long as Kerbal Colonies knows about it. So anyway, let me uh, cheat some uh, 10,000 rocket parts over here and then we'll get to work. Okay, I have cheated our load of rocket parts into position. I had to make a new config for this particular part in Planetary Base Inc. Because it didn't have a realism overall config before. Okay. And I'm using B7 engines on the edges there. This wouldn't have enough Delta V in order to do a landing from orbit. It's only got 700. But it will do for our purposes. So I conveniently made this part carry 10,000 rocket parts. It originally was smaller and carried 1,000, so figure it could probably fit more uh, since it's scaled up for realism overhaul as well. The fuel tanks are correct. Those are just modular fuel tanks. Oh, we're using a lot of yaw there. Are you okay? It's sort of wiggling back and forth in a bad way, isn't it? Oh boy. No! Come on, come on, come on. Back, back, back. No! Don't smack, don't smack, don't smack. Uh oh, don't kill anything. Okay, just drop. Just drop. No! Okay, we're sideways. Oh! That might be harsh. Okay, I don't know why it exploded there. I, I, I guess just engines. It's fine. It's fine. We can work with this. It's okay. I don't know why it's balanced. I copied... I mean, the of course, the rocket parts tank is symmetrical, and then I just copied this side over to that side. Oh well, anyway, Kerbal, can't get anything. Alright, so we have this thing here. Uh, miraculously, it's not in a horrible position. Uh, can we build a colony now? Okay, so now it lets us build a colony. I don't know if I want to build it right on top of it. Probably not. Um, we've got this whole build thing. And I can adjust rotation like this. We can sort of make the original thing like there. Uh, I guess it's okay alignment with those other things. I mean, I have to be picky sometimes for aesthetics. So maybe we'll have that not be exactly... 
Maybe we should just put it off to the side there. So I could move it like this. I don't know how much space we might need for other things around it. Honestly, I think a colony would look a little bit different. This is not this is not the building I would pick for my colony assembly building. I want, well, frankly, stuff that looks a lot more like the planetary base ink part. This looks like it's on Earth. Is it supposed to be on Earth? I mean, I don't know, because uh, you're never going to, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Okay, we'll just go with it for now. Okay, let's see what it is. Okay, we've got, oh, uh, oh, now we have to put this thing, a fuel cell facility. Okay, so these are required parts, I guess. Well, it seems to be on the ground, that's fine. Next, uh, electric charge storage. Okay, so we really uh, build out our, our settlement here pretty quickly with these, these things. Just automatic, but I would like to have been able to pick which building I use. Hmm. I mean, we've got barracks here. I mean, I don't want to be tied to this particular barracks. I mean, I'm going to click clip it into the ground so it doesn't show so much of its greenness, you know. Hopefully that's okay. And now there's a production facility. I'll, I'll submerge that as well to some extent. The problem is it's using a lot of buildings that were meant for... And there's another storage facility. Oh, uh, there, that, there's that tank basically. So this is probably from para, terraforming. Oh, I'll put it close by there. Uh, yeah, a lot of these parts are actually designed for Earth not designed for another planet. This one is okay for another planet. So is the battery bank. I don't know if there's any coherent reason why you wouldn't have it like that, as long as there's gravity. I definitely don't think you'd have windows just to look out and see the other building. That That is a little bit weird, but okay. All right, we've got that. Now we've got a landing zone. Okay, so landing zone. Good luck with me landing on it properly. I'll submerge that somewhat. Okay, then then that's done. So then we have what it thinks of as a colony. Looking quite spiffy all overall, isn't it? No wonder we needed the 10,000 rocket parts. Now, can we move this after placing it? So we've got resource production with this. This is a fuel cell. Uh, but it's using liquid fuel and oxidizer, so I'm going to have to change that. So this is partly asking myself, what am I going to have to change about this to make it realism overhaul compatible? And clearly we're going to need a lot more electric charge. We're going to need it to use uh, hydrogen and oxygen, which, you know, we, we're going to be baselining on the moon for sure with. And so that's a consideration. What else do we have? We've got this production facility and it'll have to be using all the stuff that we normally use around here. I mean, rocket parts is fine, but I'm also going to have to change everything from metals. If it's using any, it looks like it's using ore, but I'm not sure. If it's using metals or metallic ore, I mean, if it's using metal or metal ore, I'm gonna have to change that to metals and metallic ore because those are the real fuels versions of those things. So yeah, all sorts of complications. I had to do that for K and K, the planetary base sync as well already. Uh, so these are the kinds of things we have to worry about. Okay, so that's like that. And then, I mean, it's very complicated as you can see. I don't know all the functionality of all this, I understand rocket parts in time. Here, 
Well, we have that. That's basing it on what we have here. So okay. So for now, I'm not gonna try and figure out what it all does and how to build an actual rocket here. Uh, I wonder if I can just name my. It says Moon Colony One. Well, that's straightforward at least. Does it pop up somewhere? Let me see. Uh, oh, let's see in the map view whether it's got a different view. Look, okay. Yeah, it says KC Moon Colony 1 Landing Zone. So now we have a better mark for where we want to go instead of the little probe that I had before. Well, anyway, I'll just leave it. So there's that. Now that this is unloaded with all the rocket parts, it's got plenty of Delta V to get back to orbit. That's nice if we wanted to remove it, but I didn't like the part where it was all unstable. That's not very helpful. Okay, I don't want to revert. We'll just keep this like this so I can experiment further. But back to Space Center, I want to see to what extent we can access this, like from the VAB and such, because I think that's supposed to be a thing. Okay, well, one thing that I didn't entirely appreciate with Kerbal Colonies is that it made this selection list have a horizontal scroll bar because it's added things that have really long names. <laughs> So that's not ideal, but we do have the KC Moon Colony here that we can set as a launch site. So that's a thing. I don't know, does that circumvent the need for rocket parts for this to be built there though? So if that's launch site now, it's not in this drop down menu. So I've set it as launch site, if I go there, it has no suitable hangar to build the craft. Okay, well we're gonna have to have a hangar to build the craft. And hopefully the hangar will keep track of the rocket parts necessary for this. But we would also need some dialogue to indicate... Open CAB. S some dialogue to indicate how many rocket parts this is going to cost. So anyway, I'm gonna have to figure out the liquid fuel oxidizer thing. And then figure out the cost. But things are getting interesting around here. It is a very, already a very interesting install. As you can see from the bottom toolbar here, I've got a whole heck of a lot of things going on. Uh, we almost don't have enough space left for anything else. So I had better be careful. But anyway, uh, let's go back to our moon colony and then I'll wrap it up. Now, the moon colony isn't a thing I can jump to here. We still have to use some vessel to get to it. And this did hop up because it's not anchored. Uh, well, I mean, it's looking pretty legit. The minor questions I have about whether the buildings would really be shaped like that aside, uh, I do have to figure out how potentially to make new buildings like that hangar it was mentioning. Launch pads one. We've got one of all these things. Production. Just one production facility, but then production facility. Runway facilities. These are the types, not ones that are actually deployed. Let's see. So production, there's a vehicle assembly facility. Is there something specifically called hangar? These are the hangar facilities, so those are for vehicle storage. Cost a bundle of rocket parts. Fission reactor, fusion reactor too. Same rocket parts. <laughs> but we, there's a minimum CAB level, so uh, we would have to upgrade the CAB. What, what, what is the CAB? Um, colony, uh, is it the... Colony, it's a colony assembly building. So we have to upgrade the colony assembly building to get fusion reactors. Okay. There's some towers, tree houses. Uh, one thing they don't have is like underground. Of course, that would be very difficult. Mining facility. So we can build all these things and they will be functional and they will act as Kerbal Constructs things rather than parts. So this is a very, very advanced mod. I, I'm very impressed that it is 
so sophisticated like this that must have taken a lot of coding work. So, well, I'm going to have to figure out how to work with it. And that's going to take many videos, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, here it is. There. We, we, have, we have an interesting... Not all of it was part of the Kerbal Colonies mod, but some of it is. And we have this facility here. And we will continue to work on it in the subsequent videos. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.